According to the CDC, women who are pregnant or recently pregnant are at an increased risk for severe illness from COVID-19 when compared to people who are not pregnant. A new study highlights the benefits of pregnant women getting vaccinated against COVID-19. Today, we're joined by Christiana Cares, Chair of OBGYN, Dr. Matt Hoffman, and Christiana Cares, Chair of Pediatrics, Dr. David Paul. Thank you both for being here for this important conversation. Thank you. And Dr. Hoffman, I brief, briefly mentioned that statistic in the beginning, but let's dive deeper into why we're so strongly encouraging pregnant women to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Yeah, so I think it's kind of important to go back to the basics. One of the things that we've learned over the last several years is that COVID poses unique risk to pregnancy, not just due to COVID, but actually to the pregnancy. So when we look at maternal mortality, we know that it's gone up in large part due to COVID. Similarly, we know that there is a long effect. We know that in fact, COVID can infect the placenta and we see a common condition called preeclampsia become much more common in women who have gotten COVID. And then finally, the outcome, which none of us want, which is stillbirth, is clearly much higher with women who've had COVID during their pregnancy. The flip of that is we have known for a while that the vaccine prevents COVID, uh, particularly the mRNA vaccines are highly effective, preventing both hospitalization and severe disease, which is where we see the greatest risk in pregnancy. And Dr. Paul, now a new study from the CDC shows that getting vaccinated against COVID-19 during pregnancy may also help protect babies after they're born. Can you break down the findings for us for that? Yeah, Megan, thank you. I think as Dr. Hoffman pointed out, there are a lot of benefits to the mother to getting vaccinated, but this study was really exciting and because it showed that if mother got vaccinated during her pregnancy, the series of vaccines was 60% effective in reducing infection in the babies uh, in the first six months of life. So it showed not only the benefit to the mother of getting vaccinated, but the benefit to the baby and the family as well. Absolutely, that's so important. And that study specifically looked at women who received the first two shots of Pfizer or Moderna, didn't look at the effects of maternal booster shots in infants. I know that I received my booster when I was pregnant because I had already received my first two doses. So Dr. Hoffman, how important is it for pregnant women to get that booster, especially if they've already gotten their first two before they were pregnant? Yeah, so one of the things that we have known um, for a long time is that the maternal immunity is conferred to the baby and having higher doses of immunity is related to the timing that you get your shot. So one of the things that Dr. Paul was alluding to is when they looked at people who got their shot particularly later in the part of the pregnancy, there was more benefit. So if you've gotten your first immunization well before you're pregnant, your immune system will wane. So getting that booster will get you back to those levels and confer that benefit that we see not just for moms, but actually for babies during the first six months of life. I can also add, um, I think most people know that, that babies get their first vaccines at age two months, their first routine immunizations. And that's because uh, if mother is vaccinated, all the protection in mother and those antibodies cross through the placenta and uh, really protect the babies for a number of months. So the same principle holds with, with COVID vaccination um, as well. And that leads right to my next question, Dr. Paul. I know that the CDC, FDA are studying that vaccine for children under five. It's not out yet. We're not sure when that will happen. But other than you know having your child vaccinated against all of the other things that the vaccines are for, what can parents do to continue to protect their children from COVID and really anything else? Sure. Well, I think people um, over the past couple of years have heard the routine advice for COVID and that holds true for your children. Hand washing remains important, especially with kids. You know, they're, they're into everything. So if your children can wash their hands, you can teach them to wash their hands. That's great. Families should wash their hands. Um, if you can wear masks in public places, that's important. If you can get other vaccinations such as flu, that's important. We know that especially with the Omicron variant, um, the symptoms can be mild. So if parents or siblings have a headache or a runny nose or what you think might be a cold, if you can get a home test and test yourself, that gives you the, the you know, at least the option of, of isolating if that's feasible um, from your child as well. And, and certainly that 
highlights the importance of the family getting vaccinated because if mom, um, dad, caregivers, grandmother, anyone who lives in the house, other siblings stay safe from COVID, um, then the children less than five are going to have a less of a chance of getting it. So, um, you know, again, careful hand washing, careful uh, mask wearing, if that's possible, and what we call cocooning, get everybody around that child vaccinated if, that, if that's uh, at all possible. Absolutely. And Dr. Hoffman, we just talked about all of the pediatric vaccines, but there are other vaccines that pregnant women should get while they're pregnant, not just COVID. Yeah, no, we've been giving vaccines in pregnancy for a long time because exactly what Dr. Paul says, we know that the immune system um, crosses the placenta and also say it crosses into breast milk. So for flu and particularly whooping cough, um, whooping cough is one of the most common reasons children are admitted after they've been born in the first several months of life. So having access to vaccine um, is important. And then as Dr. Paul emphasized, having the family members also be immunized to protect them, knowing that they're going to be the primary caregivers for that family. And I know just as a recently pregnant woman and a new mom that this is all kind of anxiety inducing in many ways. So do you, either of you or both of you have advice for new moms who are watching this or moms of young children watching this who are thinking, you know, I'm not sure what to do and it's all, it all just seems too much. Yeah, I guess I'll take that first, at least from the obstetrical standpoint. You know, this is a vaccine that's well tested. There are over 200,000 pregnant women that we have followed that have gotten the vaccine. We know that it's safe um, and we know that it prevents COVID. So from that perspective, people have concerns. People know that this is a newer infection, but it's really important to emphasize that we have good data. And in fact, the data suggests that it is much more efficacious to get the vaccine than not to get it. And I, I certainly agree with that. I think over the last two years, unfortunately, we've seen um, a number of pregnant moms get sick and, and, and need our care. And, and that affects the baby if the babies are born prematurely and risks of stillbirth. And uh, I agree with that. The vaccines are safe. They're well tested. They've been given millions of times throughout the, uh, the world and, and the country. And we have uh, the utmost confidence in their, in their efficacy. Fantastic. Dr. Paul, Dr. Hoffman, thank you so much for your time. And if you're watching and have more questions or need more information about the COVID-19 vaccine, please visit ChristianaCare.org.